we are going to solve a staircase problem if you will see in this problem we have given one value as n equals 4 and we have to print pattern like this right so this pattern is called a staircase pattern right so in this case if you'll see our value is n equals 4 so we need to print 4 row right 4 row of this pattern and you can see that each and every row have different number of right pattern so in first row we have only one hash in second row we have two hash in third row we have three hash and so on right so for solving this problem you can see that we have given one method right a stairs method and we have to complete this method so first we will discuss about this how we will solve this problem so suppose our n equals 4 so our pattern will be like this so you can see that in first line we have only one hash in second line we have two hash it means not that we are going to print only hash if you will see we know that whenever we are going to print any value it will start from left side so suppose we will go and we will print value right in first first time in first line we will print one hash so it will print from a starting right in here it will print hash here from this side but we don't need this one so you can see that in this case we have three space right in first line it means that suppose our n equals 4 it means just first we need to print right in first line we need to print n minus 1 space then n right then if we are going to run one time then we need to print one hash right if we are going to write print second line it means that we need to print n minus 2 space then after we need to print 2 in hash right and so on so let's solve this problem So you can see that this, right we have given one method a staircase method and we have to complete this method this method is taking one input as n right as an argument and we have to print a line of right pattern this one so let's start for loop because we know that we need two line because two loop sorry first loop will write take care about that total number of row and second loop will take care about total number of right this column so we need four row four column so we will start loop from one to four and we will end loop right in our loop will be also one to four so here we know that we have four as n so we will start i equals one i less than equal to n i plus plus because we don't know what is the value of n so suppose if there is fixed right value of n will be 4 then we can write here 4 but we need we don't know what will be the value of n that's why we have used n so that if user will give value n is equals 10 so it will print 10 line so inside this we need another loop so that it will print column so for int j equals 1 j is less than equals n and j plus plus here you can see that now next we have uh, now we have to print suppose there is one condition for printing this pattern suppose right if right this inner loop if you will see this inner loop like we have started i from i right suppose this i will be less than n minus right one n minus two n minus three then we will print this space otherwise we will print right hash so here we will check if j is less than n minus sorry less than equal to n minus 1 then what we will do in this case we will print a space right or if we, j will be right greater than this one right n minus 1 then we will print hash in else cache we will print hash so we will just copy them paste and inside here we will use hash if you will see right after printing every line right after printing every row we need one new line so that our cursor will go for new line so that after ending this inner loop we will use right new line so here we will use new line right and in java we know that we have one function print ln right that function is also going to print new line so if we will use this ln so we don't need to write anything inside it it will also already take new line when we are using to ln it will new line so let's run this program okay our test case is going to fail okay because each and every time it is printing only one 
so let's see where we are doing mistake okay here we are fixed right here we have fixed one we don't need to fix one because if you will see in first time right we need one here still here n minus one but next time we need n minus two right n minus two space so here where from where we will find n minus one n minus two so from this i we will get n minus one n minus two right so here instead of this one we will use n minus i let's run this program So you can see that our test case is passes. It is basic test case, right? Let's submit this program. It will check each and every test case of this program. So you can see that our each and every test case is passed. Okay.